Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we would like to discuss about our preliminary study with the title Preliminary Study of Bioscrubber Derived from the Bacterial Cellulose Impregnated by Flavonoid of Moringa Leaf by Gedeng Rahandi Kameawan, Avijan Imatus Ada, Tiara Nadia, and Dr. Ing Silviana, Bachelor of Engineering, Master of Engineering. It is... It's, it is a lot around us. It's invisible but dangerous. It's called microplastic. Microplastic has been classified as contaminants by Scotland Center of Expertise for Waters. Microplastic are dangerous because many are found in the form of scrubber on cosmetic products as well as personal care and cannot be processed by the water to waste treatment facilities, so it is so toxic. Every year, they are 210.9 trillion microplastic thrown away. Due to its dangerous nature, the use of this product has been banned in various countries. But the demand for scrubber products continues to increase due to its irreplaceable benefits. Alternatives microplastic are found such as grains, jojoba oil granules, and cellulose that can be made into scrubber. One of the potential cellulose is bacterial cellulose. Because of its advantages that have high impurity, high crystallinity, biodegradable, and require simple treatment. Bacterial cellulose will be formulated with moringa leaves containing flavonoids so that the resulting scrubber has antibacterial properties. The development process of, the, of manufacturing methods start from the cultivation of hydrogel fibers, but it is requires a complex process and a long time. Then the microfluid process, but the morphology bacterial cellulose is still poor. Continues to the hydrolysis with acid, but has low thermal stability. And currently, selected ultrasonification process with bacterial cellulose produced has a high porosity and transparent. This review article based on reputable international journals on such as Science Direct, Springer, and Scopus. And journals are based on several relevant keywords such as scrubber, bacterial cellulose, flavonoid, ambient pressure drying, and moringa leaf. The literature that has been obtained are 105 journals. Scrubber is amorphous particle measuring 0.5 micrometers until 500 micrometers, and commonly scrubber used in personal care. Scrubber is applied as a substitute for natural exploiting agents such as almond, oatmeal, apricot seeds, peanut skin, and pumice guns. And scrubber are usually made from polyethylene, polymethyl metacrylate, and also polypropylene, which are cheaper to produce than previous natural exploiting agents that make scrubber rapidly develop and be applied by many industries. But these scrubber are difficult to decompose, so due to this negative impact, uh, there have been many moves by, made by government and also non-government companies such as Unilever, The Body Shop, L'Oreal, and etc. in the form of campaigns and realization of scrubber used tires in their product. Instead of plastic scrubber in their product, other ingredients such as sugar, coffee, glycolic acid, and others are used as in this table. But many of these replacement ingredients still have some drawbacks such as availability issue, high purses, and also potential hazard that are not much different from plastic scrubber. So some researchers have res researched utilization of various ingredients to be able to overcome these drawbacks, such as the manufacture of polyphenol alcohol combination scrubber with calcium alginate and also calcium sulfate. But it is also, also have been uh, perfectly decomposed. Other raw materials that can be used as an alternative to the manufacture of scrubber, such as silica and cellulose. We know that cellulose scrubber can be made by uh, biomass, such as wood, bagasse, cotton, rice through, fruit, and bacterial cellulose. Bacterial cellulose has advantages among other cellulose in mechanical strength, crystallinity, nanofibrous structure, purity, and biocompatibility. Bacterial cellulose has the potential to be used in biomedical and audio membrane and etc. With this many potential, it is, does not close the possibility for the use of bacterial cellulose and environmental friendly scrubber. 
Bacterial soil scrubber can replace plastic scrubber that prevent environmental brightening of water and soils. Bacterial cellulose microparticle or bacterial scrubber have been successfully produced uh, through various methods, such as the first method, mechanical method with high pressure homogenizer. But this method uh, has some drawbacks, such as the process runs very difficult and also instability because the narrowing of space in the homogenizer. The second method is hydrolysis with acid. But this method also has drawbacks, such as produce microparticle that has lower thermal stability. The third method is microbial hydrolysis, but this method also has drawbacks such as yield of pen is still very low at 22%. And another method to produce microparticle is cultivation of hydrogel fibers, but this method also has drawbacks such as producing bacterial cellulose microparticle in armor post space. The other method also a uh, microfoldic process, but this method also has drawbacks such as produce bacterial cellulose microparticle with a hollow morphology. And the last method to produce bacterial cellulose microparticle is ultrasonification method. And this method has so many advantages such as do not use sulfan that pollute the environmental, decrease porosity, and increase number of bacterial cellulose microparticle, and also produce bacterial cellulose microparticle that are more transparent than bacterial cellulose microparticle without ultrasonification. So from previous study, we recommend the ultrasonification method to make bacterial cellulose microparticle because of this method has more advantages than the other method. In this table, there are bacterial cellulose microparticle sharing method. All of the methods have advantages and drawbacks. The first one is supercritical drying method. The advantage of this method is supercritical carbon dioxide drying can avoid change in the structure of bacterial cellulose. And the drawback of this method, this method has constraint on the use of operating conditions that are quite extreme compared to the ambient pressure drying method. Second one is pressing drying method. The advantages of this method compared to the supercritical drying, freeze drying is safer from the environment and less expensive. And the drawback of this method first can reduce swelling by an average factor of five, while evaporating drying can reduce swelling by an average factor of 50. Second, the aging process must be extended for stabilization and the existing bond can be destroyed by solvent crystallization in the force. The third one is spray dry method. The advantage of this method, this method produces microparticles with low rehydration capability. And the drawback of this method, this method produces bacterial cellulose microparticle with an amorphous shape and the crystallinity index decrease. The last one is ambient pressure drying method. This method uh, has the advantages bacterial cellulose microparticle produced by ambient pressure drying have high crystallinity, high mechanical properties, and are transparent. And this is the cheapest and the easiest method. And the drawback of this method, this method produces microparticle with low specific surface area. And in this table, there are source, sources of papunoid and their percentage content. Based on the table, Moringa Moringa leaves are very potential as a source of papunoid because the papunoid content is greater than the other sources. So we can draw some conclusion. First, bacterial cellulose is a material that has the potential to be used as a bio scrubber because of its superior properties. Second, ultrasonication method followed by ambient pressure drying is recommended to produce bio scrubber from bacterial cellulose. And the last one, Combination of these met two methods is expected to produce various scrubber products that have crystallinity, high mechanical properties, and are transparent. That's all from our presentation. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.